guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, and in today's video, we're going to be going over some brand new clips that seem to have been released of The Ones Who Live, of some of the unused clips. We're going to go through them, discuss them, and talk about why they may not have been used in the series. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today, this one's going to be doing a review for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, and in today's video we're going to be discussing a new scene that has been kind of leaked out there from some of the audience, some of the uh, fan base for The Ones Who Live. Now I really wanted to give my thoughts on this one because this one is really, really interesting. So um, this is a scene from episode one of The Ones Who Live that was not used. Um, there is not any clips of this, there are only like, you know, photos and stuff like that but we're going to go through them, we're going to delve into them, and talk about them uh, overall. So, Ones Who Live is a very interesting show, because, you know, obviously, the show has ended now for, like, almost about a month, and we continue to get things released online of scenes that they didn't use, scenes that they, they filmed, but never happened. There was one where, apparently, Rick had a prosthetic hand that looked something like what he had in the Walking Dead comic book series, and um, there was literally footage released recently of a scene that they filmed with Rick, Rick, Michonne, Judith, and RJ sitting at like a picnic table or whatever, having like a picnic with his family, right? And they decided to cut it out. I'll, I'll never understand why they decided to cut that out, but you know, they did. Um, they gave Rick a new prosthetic hand and they had a whole bunch of stuff going on. It was really cool, you know, but we never got to see it. They filmed it, but we never got to see it. And now there's a scene that's floating around online of Rick. It's after he cut his hand off in episode one and he's sitting there in a hospital bed as you've got Okafor that's standing there watching him as he kind of like just walks away. And this is really insane to me because I really would have thought that they would have kept this scene in the first episode, especially, you know, Rick laying in a hospital bed. I mean, it's too perfect. Like literally, it's like the one thing that I wanted to see from the first episode is seeing him in a hospital bed again. You know, I think that was a huge missed opportunity cutting that scene out. I think that would have really benefited, even if it was just for a couple minutes, you know, getting him in that hospital bed real quick, unconscious as like you've got Okafor that's watching over him, I think would have been so cool. I think that would have been such a cool scene to see would have called back it would have really brought you back a little bit and uh, I think it would have we would have felt that nostalgia in that scene you know so you know again it's not like we needed the scene but it's another one of those scenes that it's like you know I think would have been really cool the picnic one with the family though I'm, I'm gonna be honest that one I feel like we we kind of needed I would have loved to see more interactions with the family seeing more interactions with Rick and the rest of the characters and stuff like that I, I feel very robbed that we didn't get that. This one here with Rick in the hospital, it's not as bad, but I think it would have been cool to see. But now it kind of begs the question, what other clips are out there? What other clips that they may have, you know, filmed for uh, Ones Who Live that we have not seen actually make it to the TV show? My biggest curiosity with this is, are we going to get to see some of these in the DVD, right? The DVD and Blu-ray that's going to release probably later this year, probably late summer. We'll probably get a DVD for this season, probably like, you know, July, August type of, you know, range um but it makes me curious like will they include that in the dvd will we get to see some of the scenes and some of the deleted scenes that you know didn't make it to the show i think that would be a huge missed opportunity if we didn't at least get deleted scenes you know because they filmed them obviously they're they're you know being leaked all over the place so um i would say that yeah i think that'd be really cool to see i'm kind of curious to know what else they filmed that they didn't use um i know they filmed multiple endings for the ones who live um again i would love to see that i you know i i always say don't, uh, you know, don't waste your time. Don't always waste your time and then not use the scenes. Use them as deleted scenes. You know, we probably could have like an extra like, you know, 20, 30 minutes of, of show that we had no idea about, you know, with alternate endings and all this type of stuff. Put that stuff on the DVDs. I mean, honestly, it's their best bet. And I think it would actually really help with sales because people would know that there are scenes on there that not only were deleted, but, you know, false endings of the show were also recorded and also put on the DVD. So I think this is a huge opportunity for the DVD of Ones Who Live. I think it's a huge chance for them. I hope they take it. But uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Those are some of the scenes that never made it onto the show. Very interesting. I always love hearing about that type of stuff. But I want to hear your comments now down below and what your opinions are on this whole thing. So let me know, of course, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click to subscribe and you don't miss any of the videos of The Walking Dead. Be sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos of The Walking Dead universe. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.